and, and with cables. That, so the, the muscles that control your fingers are in your forearm, and they go through your, the carpal tunnel, which is like you've got a little collection of bones and, and a tiny tunnel that the that these cables, the tendons, go through. And those tendons are what um, mostly what moves your hands. In an impressive showcase of advanced robotics technology, we recently had the opportunity to get an up-close look at Check out Tesla's latest breakthrough in humanoid robotics. The Tesla bot recently demonstrated its impressive abilities by performing a task that may seem simple to humans, but is a remarkable achievement in the field of robotics. Catching a tennis ball midair. What's even more incredible is that the Tesla bot didn't just catch the ball once, it managed to grab it twice in quick succession. If you're watching this footage and thinking it looks like CGI, you're not alone. The smooth, precise movements seem almost too perfect to be real. But rest assured, what you're witnessing is genuine robotic technology in action. This demonstration showcases two key aspects of Tesla's robotic development. First, the bot's astonishing speed and reaction time, allowing it to track and intercept a fast-moving object in three-dimensional space. Second, and perhaps even more impressive, is the robot's advanced dexterity. Its hands can delicately yet securely grasp a small object in motion, a task requiring fine finger coordination and pressure control. This demonstration was manually operated, meaning a human operator was in control of the robot's movements. This incredible technological achievement should not be overlooked. The ability to translate human movements into highly precise robotic actions in real time is an astounding engineering accomplishment. What's truly thrilling is that this is only the beginning of what's possible. Tesla's robotics platform is evolving at an incredible pace, with advancements that are truly remarkable. As the technology continues to mature, we can expect even more impressive capabilities to emerge. This progress may eventually lead us to a future where these robots can carry out such tasks completely autonomously. Alongside the impressive ball-catching demonstration, we were given another fascinating insight into Tesla's advancements, thanks to a tweet shared by Sawyer Merritt. The tweet showcased an up-close view of Tesla's next-generation robotic hand, which boasts an incredible 22 degrees of freedom, bringing it closer to the complexity of the human hand. This detailed footage, captured at the We Robot event, reveals just how far Tesla has pushed the boundaries of robotic hand design. The movements of the hand are incredibly smooth and natural, capable of performing a wide range of intricate poses that mirror human hand movements with remarkable precision. Each joint and finger operates with a level of sophistication that proves this isn't just another robotic gripper. It's a major leap forward in biomimetic engineering. What's particularly impressive about the 22 degrees of freedom is that it allows the hand to perform complex manipulations previously impossible for robotic systems. As the hand moves through different positions, you can observe the subtle interaction between the joints and actuators that make these sophisticated movements possible. This isn't merely about replicating human hand gestures. It's about creating a versatile tool that could eventually match or even surpass human dexterity in certain tasks. Talking about what the future holds, Elon Musk has shared an ambitious vision of the capabilities that lie ahead for the Tesla bot. In a recent tweet, he made an extraordinary claim. A robotic hand will one day be able to play both the piano and the guitar. While this may sound like something out of science fiction, it's important to think about the potential implications. To put this development into perspective, we haven't seen any robotic system successfully master these intricate musical instruments yet. Playing instruments like the piano or guitar requires not only precise finger placement, but also careful control of pressure, timing, and subtle movements, skills that even many humans find difficult to perfect. Every note on a guitar requires precise pressure on the fret, paired with a perfectly timed pluck of the string. Similarly, playing the piano demands exact accuracy, balancing the complexity of pressing multiple keys at once while carefully controlling the dynamics of each note. What makes Musk's claim especially intriguing is his history with the Tesla bot project. While he's known for setting ambitious timelines in his various ventures, this track record adds an extra layer of interest. The rapid advancement of robotic technology hints that this time, things might be different. We've already seen impressive demonstrations, from the robot hand flawlessly catching tennis balls to showcasing intricate finger movements at Wiot. These remarkable feats add weight to the idea that even more complex operations could be just around the corner.
This is the moment where Elon Musk joins Lex Fridman to dive into the intricate details of the extraordinary engineering required to build a robotic hand. Do things that a human can do, it's actually, it's a, it's a very high bar. So our, our new arm has 22 degrees of freedom instead of 11 and has the, like I said, the actuators in the forearm. Um, and these all, all the actuators are designed from scratch, they, from physics first principles. Um, the, the sensors are all designed from scratch and, and we'll, we'll continue to put um, a tremendous amount of engineering effort into improving the hand, like the, the, the hand, by, by hand, I mean like the, the, the entire forearm from elbow forward mm -hmm. uh, is, is really the hand. Um, now, things get even more intriguing as Elon Musk brings up something I hadn't even considered possible. Let's check out a clip from a year earlier where he talks about the Tesla bot's ability to thread a needle using only vision. But there is, uh, the actuators are kind of interesting on a humanoid robot with the fingers. So Optimus has really nice hands and fingers, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and they could do some interesting manipulation. Soft, yeah. soft touch robotics. I mean, one of the tests uh, goals I have is can, can it pick up a needle and a thread and thread the needle just by looking. How far away are we from that? Just by looking, just by looking. Uh, maybe a year. This might seem almost impossible at first glance. Threading a needle presents challenges on both macro and micro levels. You need broad arm movements to position the thread, but also incredible precision to hit a target that's only a fraction of a millimeter wide. What makes this feat particularly ambitious for Tesla's robot is the vision alone approach. No special guides, no mechanical assistance, just the robot's visual system and its remarkably dexterous hand working together to complete this intricate task. The precision required is astounding. Even the slightest tremor or a miscalculation of just a fraction of a millimeter means failure. It's not just impressive, it's a testament to Tesla's confidence in their robotic vision systems and fine motor control. Catching a tennis ball midair, for example, demands quick reflexes and spatial awareness. But threading a needle requires an entirely different level of accuracy and control. If Tesla can accomplish this, it would represent a quantum leap in robotics. It would showcase a system capable of seamlessly transitioning between fast, dynamic tasks like catching a ball and ultra-precise operations at near-microscopic scales. This level of versatility is exactly what could make humanoid robots truly useful in real-world applications. Hence, the actuators, the muscles of your hand, are almost overwhelmingly in your forearm. Mm -hmm. So your forearm has the has the muscles that that actually control your hand. Um, this, there's a there's a few small muscles in the hand itself, but your hand is really um, like a skeleton meat puppet, <laughs> and, the, and and with cables that so the the muscles that control your fingers are in your forearm, and they go through your, the carpal tunnel, which is that you've got a little collection of bones and, and a tiny tunnel. That the that these cables, the tendons go through, and those tendons are what um, mostly what move your hands. And something like those tendons has to be re-engineered into the Optimus in yeah. order to do all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, like the, the, the current Optimus, um, we, we tried putting the actuators in the hand itself. <laughs> but then you, you you sort of end, end up having these like giant hands. Yeah, giant hands that look weird. Yeah. Um, and then they they don't actually have enough degrees of freedom. And, and or enough strength. Mm -hmm. So so then you realize, oh, okay, that's why you gotta put the actuators in the forearm. And and just like a human, you gotta run cables uh, through a, na a narrow tunnel to uh, operate the, the fingers. And then there's also a reason for not having all the fingers uh, the same length. So it wouldn't be expensive from an energy or evolutionary standpoint to have all your fingers be the same length. So why not they're the same length? Yeah, why not? Because it's actually better to have different lengths. Your dexterity is better if you've got fingers of different length. You, you're, you have, there, there are more things you can do, and your, your dexterity is actually better if your fingers are of different, different length. Like, there's a reason we've got a little finger. Like, why not have a little finger this bigger? Yeah. Because it allows you to do fine, it, it helps you with fine motor skills. That, this little finger helps? <laughs> it does. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but if you lost your little finger, it would, you, you, you have noticeably less dexterity. So as you're figuring out this problem, you have to also figure out a way to do it so you can mass manufacture it. So it's to be as simple as possible. It's actually going to be quite complicated. The, 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 the as possible part is, it's quite a high bar. 